making a split phase compressor tester using the components on screen. Most cords don't come pre-stripped as you see, so I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and strip the cord. So basically we're simulating that it had a receptacle on one end, we're gonna go ahead and cut that off and then peel apart the hot and neutral. Next, we're gonna strip away around one quarter inch of the insulation. To remove this insulation, I prefer to twist it as opposed to using the tool itself. It just helps to keep the copper together a little bit better and keep the strands of copper tightly twisted. Next, we're going to crimp on our connectors, and these connectors we're using are 2.8 by 0.5 millimeter, and can commonly be found online, and usually are bought in packs of around 50 to 100. Once the connector is in place, we need to go ahead and crimp it, and there's a variety of different crimping tools that you can find out there, most commonly found at any hardware store. However, to be completely honest with you, when done properly, just a regular pair of pliers will do the trick. Be sure that your crimps are tight, as any loose connection is a bad connection. After the connectors have been secured, we're going to go ahead and take some shrink tube and slide it over the connectors as well as the wiring itself. After we shrink down this shrink tube, this allows the wiring to be a little bit more rigid and deal with everyday use. It also prevents the crimp on connectors from accidentally being pulled off. However, if they are in need of being removed, you should always grab the connector and never pull on the wiring. Here I'm using a heat gun to shrink down the tubing. And to be honest, a hair dryer might do the trick for you. However, a heat gun's gonna work a little bit faster and you can find one at any local hardware store. To be completely honest with you, you can use a lighter to do this process, however it's a little less than desirable as the lighter will leave a little soot behind. Once the shrink tubing has been shrunken down to its desired size, it's time to plug the connectors into our PTC start device. To connect the two wires properly, the hot wire should connect to the back side of the thermal overload as seen there, with the terminal up top, and the neutral on the opposing side. In reality, these will work normally with the wiring in either position, it's just good to practice correct polarity. Remember, we're using alternating current and not DC current, which would be direct current. Once the terminals have been connected to your PTC start device, it's ready to use. Simply plug onto the compressor in question and plug the start device into the wall. If the compressor runs, either the compressor previously was not getting power or had a faulty start device. If the compressor does not run, the compressor is faulty and will need to be replaced.